Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today it is time for an unboxing video. It's been a while, uh, but this, you know, with everything that's going on in the world, I thought, sod it, I'm going to go and buy quite a few beers. Uh, and I'm using a new um, a new bottle shop, a new online bottle shop, uh, Trembling Madness, all these beers have come from. Um, and it's the first time I've used them, but been pretty good, came within... 24 hours of ordering which is pretty good um, um and then there's a lot of other youtubers that um that have mentioned them before and i went on their website and i looked for all the beers i thought yep they've got some new stuff in there but the prices were really reasonable um i mean i do love the fuss club the craft metropolis the two others that i use but when i compare some of the beers from this site uh, from trembling madness compared to them you know, you're paying a pound, one pound fifty less for a for a, for the same can of beer. Um, so that worked out over you know over a number of beers. You know, quite a good saving. Um, so without further ado, let's see what we've got. As usual, uh, caveat onto this, I probably won't review every beer on here. There's a beer on here that I bought because I I loved it, um, which I've already reviewed months ago, uh, but they have rebrewed it and I wanted to have it again. But there's lots of interesting beers. So let's uh, let's open up this box. I've opened up the box already because I just wanted to make sure that everything was all, all right in there. So that's open. I won't bring it back on the table because there's quite a lot of beers here. So let's go through them. So quite a few from my uh, favourite uh, brewery, Polly's, but this is a hybrid mines parallel. 5.8%. This has got Idaho 7 Nelson Sauvin in it. So we've got a few from Polly's. Um, yeah, I'll get probably all the polys will come out. This is a Layers IPA, uh, Idaho 7 Mosaic Simcoe Cryo. So there's another good one. That's a 6.5%. Let's see if we can get all of them. This is a, a polys Cryo Pop. Uh, obviously, Cryo Pop, original blend, uh, Idaho 7 and Mosaic. So that's another good one. I mean, in fact, some great Cryo Pop beers over the months. Uh, this one is from Burnt Mill. Um, I think we've had one other thing from Burnt Mill, but I like the look of this one. This is a double dry hopped um, New England Pal at 4.6%. Some interesting hops, though. You've got uh, Citra, Mosaic and Cashmere, uh, but also Meridian and Ella hop. So, yeah, it could be an interesting one. It's that one. Uh, we've got a North Brewery one. Uh, this is a double dry hop New England IPA at 6.5%. El Dorado, Citra and Simcoe. Looks quite good. A beer from Beak. This is a brand new one. This is a uh, Fables and it's a 5.5% parallel. Um, it doesn't say what hops it is, but it does say sun warmed Sauvignon Blanc grapes, foggy spring mornings, squishy overripe gooseberries and uh mounting size spectres i am expecting it's got nelson solving in it but with that sort of description but you know it should be a, a good one beak are very very good and but usually that find them a bit expensive but again trembling madness this was like and all of the i think all of these beers except for one was under a fiver so and some of them like a north one was under four quid there's a couple of under four quid Right, so this is a uh, this is a brewery, this fairly new brewery, but they're getting a load of press at the moment. Um, and everyone's saying that all their stuff is great. So this is a brand new from uh, from them. They're called uh, Azvex. Uh, they're based in Liverpool. Let me just make sure they are based in. Yeah, they're based in Liverpool. Um, so fairly lo locals, me in the northwest here. Great looking can artwork here. Obviously, lots of snakes. It's called Colourful Snakes, and that's what the artwork is. Uh, Mosaic, Laurel, and Azaka Palau, 5.8%. So I'm looking forward to I've got a couple of that, uh, these, the, uh, that brewery, but they're brand, pretty new brewery, but getting a lot of uh, plaudits. Talking of breweries with lots of plaudits, it's uh, Verdant, uh, and there there will be no intervals. This is a Palau, 4.5%, Mosaic and Simcoe. Yeah, quite a sort of blandish sort of uh, can art. But again, having had a Verdant Power, I think Verdant's Powers are pretty good. So um, I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, we've got a beer from Track. Again, Track usually expensive, but here we're pretty reasonable. This was £4.15, I think, this one. Uh, this is a Blackjack. It's a Hikari IPA, Nelson Sauvin and Orange Zest. 6%. Um, yeah, so it's uh, so it's called Hikari. It's from Track in collaboration with Blackjack Brewing Company. Got it out in the end. There we go. There's a lot of these breweries that like to do their collab projects, and sometimes it's not clear who who the collab is, what's the name of the beer, etc. Oh, we've got another Polly's. 
So yeah, f I mean, how many polys we got? Four polys this this month out of these. This is the Feel Good Cold Double Dry Hot Pale Ale uh, Citra Mosaic Simcoe Vic Secret. Uh, this is another track. This is a brand new one called Fractions. It's another collaboration project. Um, who's it with? Fractions. It's a collaboration with Track and Luke Saxon, it says. I think it's just, I think collaboration is, that's something to do with, the, that's the photographer. So he does all the photography for the for this artwork, obviously, on here. Uh, this is an IPA, a Citra Galaxy and, and Rakau. Raku, Rakau, Rakau, I think I used to pronounce that. So that's another one. Put that on top of the other track there. As I said, got quite a few because I thought I'd buy a big order because if you spend over 75 quid, the postage is free. Uh, so I spent just over that. Got 18 drunk, 18 beers for that. Now, this is an interesting one because this is Vault City, but it's in a can. So, you know, usually we expect you ex Vault City there, three, seven, five mil bottles of uh they all come in bottles, but they've started canning stuff now. Uh, so that, that means we get at least, we get 440, we get more beer for our money. And this is a strawberry field, which is a strawberries and cream. Um, obviously, it's a modern sour beer at 5%. But yeah, I'm, I haven't had a vault for a while. And that one seems like a, you know, a good a good value as well. Cause sometimes they can be expensive, but this one again was, you know, I think it was about four, about four pounds. So pretty good. Okay, so now we've got, a, we've got a bottle here, and this is from The Colonel. And again, another brewery that I keep hearing lots about. They're a bit of a strange one because they do all their stuff with this sort of brown, very plain, sort of unobtrusive, uh, sort of, I suppose what you call wrap. It's not even a wrap, is it? Just like a label, basically. Uh, but this is a pale ale with Nelson Sorbin, Citra and Vic Secret, 5.2%, and this is a 500 ml bottle. And this was this was about three pound thirty. So I think that's if it's a good beer. Then that's a great value for money uh, for the, for that. I think that's that's pretty good. Okay, next ones. Where are some of these packaging? All right, got quite a few day. Now this is a day glue. Have reviewed it on the channel. You can check out my review if you search it on my channel. This is a brilliant beer. One of my favourite uh, day of beers. It's a New Zealand, different New Zealand hops in this. Just a really great day of, day of beer. One of my favourites. Uh, we've got some new data though. We've got Can We Get a New Aircraft? This is an IPA. Uh, this says it's based on the recipe for uh, something good five. It's full on strata, full on juice. Again, Daya, big 500 mil cans. Now, Daya, these are the interesting ones because these are the IPAs from Daya that I bought. I think they were about oh, four, because they're big cans. I think, yeah, I think they're about four pounds, 90 or four, 450, something around under, certainly under five quid. But some of the other bowl shops were selling these for like 6.95. So there was a big, big difference in price. You know, you only have to buy two or three of those and you think, well, actually I could buy another beer for the price. Uh, so this is another day, but this is a parallel. This is, uh, it's called Straight Up. Quite a weird sort of looking can artwork there. Um, and it's an interesting, because it says it's a modern cask beer, obviously a can, brewed with wheat and rye malt for a full mouthfeel and a slightly sweet edge, hopped with UK Chinook from the Brookhouse Hops and Citra from Yakima Chief. Citrus, marmalade and lychee on the four. So I think this is going to be a bit of a different one. It could be a disaster or could be something quite interesting. I mean, if it's, you know, a good cast beer, nice and smooth. Yeah, so it should be, uh, that should be interesting. But it'd be interesting to see what sort of flavours we're going to get from that. Uh, this is another one of the new day ones. This is called Big Loose Plan. IPA utilising mid-fermentation on the dry hop, Simcoe Cryo, Vic Secret, Idaho 7. So I'm expecting a lot of pineapple -y sort of flavours there. Hopefully that'll be up to the up to the usual sort of hazy, creamy sort of beers from from Daya. So I think that is it. Just making sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. No, it's only seventeen. Here we go. There's the last one. Ah, oh, so the last one was the other the other one from. Um, as Vex, uh, this one is called Bulletproof Cheetah, As Zaka, Simcoe, Citra, Galaxy, 7%. Again, these ones, again, new brewery, um, and they, they can be from some places. I think whether they just hyped up a little bit expensive, but very reasonable for a trembling madness. 
So I think this was an, an excellent haul of, of beer. Um, just going through the sort of prices of stuff. Yeah, I mean the the big the dayers were all the IPAs were all four four eighty five four ninety. Um, whereas I said some of the other bottle shops are like six pounds six ninety five even some of those. Um, all the polys were uh, 450, 415, 445. Uh, the track were 450. That Vault City one, that's only £3.90. I mean, usually you, you can pay double that price and you're getting in a smaller bottle. I know it's a sort of, it's a lower, it's 5%. So, you know, a lot of theirs are sort of more sort of, pr more higher ABV, but I think it's pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, the Verdant one, 385, so that's pretty reasonable. Um, you know, I think the most, the most expensive one was actually the, um, uh, that this the 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 uh, the, uh, the Azvex. I'm trying to remember that name. Azvex. It's a bit like the logo's a bit like Alta Delta, which is another you know brewery um, that you, we may have we've had before on the channel. May have seen. It just just reminds me of that. But great can artwork, and I, I keep hearing great great things about them. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm probably going to start drinking those those first because I just heard some really good things. So very reasonable. This one, the 500 mil, £3.20. I mean, let's hope that's a great beer because that's great value. So this is my haul. This is going to be probably going to be reviewing at least half of these. There's some interesting ones. I don't like, you know, because there's a lot of polys reviewed on the channel. Um, so I don't know how many of the polys, but certainly some of the, the day, certainly the Vault City, the, the ones like this Kernel one I'm interested in. And, and obviously the, these new, these new uh, this new brewery as well. Um, be very, very interested to see how good these are. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. So let's get these in the fridge. Um, and hopefully by this evening, I might be able to crack open one or two. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. As always, let me know if there's any of these you really want to know what they're like, just in case I don't decide I'm not going to review them. Um, ones that you've got your eye on, and you think, "Yeah, Rock, I want to know what you what you think of that," so we can uh, so you can tell me what, what you know what, whether it's a high score or a highly recommended beer and it's worth buying. But definitely check out Trembling Madness. I don't think they have a. I haven't got a link or any sort of discount code, but obviously search Trembling Madness. As I say, great service, twenty four hours good selection of beer and you know very reasonably priced i mean i reckon if i bought these through other brewery it would have cost me 20 or 30 quid more so i think that's that's that, that's worthwhile in, in, in itself so there's enough of me today and until the next one keep on rocking